Hello, welcome to today's edition of uh, Supercharged BIM 360 Workflows. Today we're going to talk about batch printing using sheet sets for designating your percent design documentation and percent construction documentation production. So as we talk through this batch printing, I'm going to show you how to print to PDF and only print your sheets making sure that you are printing the correct sheet size, making sure that we have the correct sheets identified and verifying that our settings are all set up correctly for printing to PDF. Uh, when we get through with that, we're going to talk a little bit about how to use the sheet sets to control percent completion in BIM 360. Uh, while we do that, we're going to talk about how to assign the sheet sets, creating new ones, add documents to the existing sheets, create corresponding folders, and then moving the uh, .rvt sheets in BIM 360 to those corresponding folders. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here to Revit and we're going to begin uh, setting up making sure that the printer settings are what they need to be. So the first thing we want to do is identify our PDF printer is the accurate printer that we want to use. And we want to verify how the files will be saved and select the sheets that we would like to print in a batch type format as a single file. Select OK. And the next thing that we're going to want to check will be uh, to verify that the uh, file is going to be a single file. We're going to set up our sheet size. So we would like to select the size that we're using in Revit. And again, just verify and make sure all of our settings are accurate. And um, close that so that we can go and um, do our little print preview and make sure that the documents look accurate. Next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and go OK and a dialog box will pop up allowing us to path the save where we would like to save it. So once we've selected a folder, we can always add new folders as needed for organization purposes. So now we're going to switch over here to BIM 360. And uh, I'd like to show you how you can set the folder structures up such that you can upload files and have those PDF documents scanned for their sheet information. Uh, for our cleaner clarification and sheet set assignment during the process. So once you've selected upload and upload uh, the document you wish to upload, um, so we're going to work through a few things. Uh, initially, we're going to do no template on this example so that I can show you this process. Uh, once you select set seat assignment, you can see there are some options where you could use an existing sheet set or upload to a new sheet set, which we're going to do. Because if you will identify, uh, you can only have one version file name for each sheet set. So this one we're going to call the 90% CD, since this will be a PDF document. And we will continue. Now during this process, BIM360 is going to begin scanning those sheets and preparing them to be published. And it is important to note that it is OK and safe to navigate away from this screen uh, during that extraction process. So let's start talking a little bit about the differences between the construction documents and design documents. You can see I have 50% and 75% CD on the de design document folders. And you can see that these are Revit files. That would be because we have published them out of Revit, and we'll show you that process here. Uh, under the Collaboration tab and the Publish settings, you can 
use the ones the sets that have been created or create new sets and you just want to make sure that the um, sheets associated to that set are available for publication. Next we'll just need to switch back to the project home screen so we can select our model. Here is where we'll be able to select the file that we want to publish out to BIM 360 noting the project and path. You can see the latest published, so if there's a, updates available, you would select the file and publish it out, and it would publish according to those published settings. So now we're going to switch back to BIM 360. You can see there's an indicator over by our publish log. We select that and go back to where our documents have been extracting, so we can select View and we're going to go back to the construction documents we're uploading and we're going to define our title block so that BIM 360 knows where and what data to extract for our sheets. Once that process has been initiated you can see that BIM 360 has extracted that sheet data giving you the number and the title for each sheet and we can publish uh, all those documents once we have verified that the correct information was extracted from those uh, title block sheets. Once those uh, files have been published, you can see they've published to the folder we selected and they have been assigned to that 90% CD set. And additionally, the uh, architectural model that we published you can see that it has published out all of the Revit sheets to the architectural model folder. Next thing we're going to want to do is select those sheets because we're going to move those to the 90% design drawing folder. So we select first of all edit seat assignment so that we can move them to a new set, new set. and we will create the 90% uh, design document set and then we will save it to continue and you can see immediately it will uh, assign those sheets to that 90% set which we can then take and move from the architectural model folder to our 90% design documents folder So we're going to go ahead and select move and we are going to path it or move it to the folder that we want to move those design documents to. Next we can navigate to another folder. We can select a sheet set and there are a multiplicity of options here. We can create transmittals, submit for review, and share with other members of the project. Finally, uh, by way of just rehashing what we discussed, um, we talked about how we're going to set up those sheets in Revit and so we can print them to PDF, upload and scan those sheet information uh, and assign sheet sets to those PDF documents. And we talked about publishing our models, create custom publish settings. Uh, we talked about pushing those sheets to BIM 360 using that those published settings in in Revit and um, how to assign those design documents to sheet sets and move those files to different folders uh, for uh, tracking and keeping up with those sets as you move through the design and construction phase. So thank you for joining us today. We hope that you were able to find some value in this presentation and we hope to see you back for the next 